Ow! Ow! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Who's got the gold? We got the gold! We got robot gold! And there's three different sizes, guys. We went over the first one that was a huge big megabot, was guaranteed real gold dip treasure. These ones, there's six to collect, and these are the mediums. And then these guys are the wee ones, the wee lasses. So we'll cover those in a different video, but they look really cool, guys. So you wanna like and subscribe, so the moment we get this done, release it, you'll be notified, okay? So, uh, say goodbye. And let's do it with these dudes. Let's begin with this guy. There you go, there's the big logo, Treasure X Robots Gold. And then up at the top it asks the question, will you find real gold at treasure? Huh? And then down at the bottom it says you remove the rust and build your bot. Now what's interesting about removing the rust, because I did a little bit of homework, I did some scaling, is that that's just the main core of the body, like the torso kind of area. So you move the rust from that, then once you move the rust in another container, they're gonna have all the body parts, like the head, the arms, phalanges, whatever, okay? Right here in tiny, tiny black text, one in 12 packs contain real gold at treasure. And so we got to get a total of 12. I mean, we got two cases, there's 12. And then we got, I think, 10 here. So we should get theoretically one and three quarters. If we got two, that'd be super cool. If we got none, oh man. If we got three, now that would be awesome. Oh, and then here's this side, six to collect. And then the other side, uh, prettier pictures. You move the rust and then you build it and then you discover uh, one or two, either real gold treasure or another power core that's just a common core. That common core sure is good to go, skill, learn. Thanks, Bill Gates. And then on the back, we got 15 levels of adventure fun. One, you pull it out of the package's container and then you pour water on it. Then the water actually dissolves the rust around it. Then you pull the torso, which is head down in the water and you turn it right side up and then you take the key out and number five you put the key in the back of his head number six you give it a pop and he pops off and then number seven there's another container where you cut open and then number eight you pull out some body parts that actually have cool air and then number nine you put it together on top of the torso where you uh, dissolve the rust then number ten there's another box and then you cut that open and you got some sort of plastic container where you break open and in that plastic container number 14 are you going to find real gold treasure you're going to have the common core and then number 15 you put the common core in his chest for power you know, like you know iron man he's got that power core right there but if you got the gold one, then you're super powered. Okay, as far as codes go, guys, uh, they're all the same codes. So I think you have to go by weight and we weighed them. And so the heavy ones are over here, but we'll just start with this one and see where it ends because we want to collect all six. Hopefully we can and show you at least one gold. And if not, we got the gold from, you know, the uh, guaranteed rule gold of treasure, the mega pack. We'll bring that out, but hopefully you find at least one. Okay, let's go. Getting close to Halloween, guys, and don't make me flip my witch switch. <laughs> you little tootie too. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> How else am I going to get you to do it? If I don't ask, you don't get it. Okay, we got tape down at the bottom here. So I think we're just going to go at the bottom and just cut the tape. Camera mom just asked me if we take it from the top. Everybody knows in acting, you start from the top. Oh no, now I have to go. Well, they got tape in the top and the bottom. I mean, does it say what take it from the top? I don't follow the rules. Okay, so then we got like this. Oh, 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 that's nice. It kind of reminds me of that fold like Treasure X Series 1. It's kind of got that same fold. Look at that. Oh, look at all those different containers. Oh, 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 okay. Hold on. This one's not supposed to be... Re oh, wow. Okay, nothing else in there, okay, guys? Okay, so before we do roundabout on this and show you that, you know, you got the small one, you got the medium one, then you got the huge one. And then, you know what? Let's just open up the quest map. Okay, you got two sides. You got the front and you have the back. First of all, let's take a look at this side because that looks pretty cool, right, guys? Oh, so you got some big uh, hook that's just going down to grab the gold. You got these robots, the megabots on either side. And then you go down and it says, it looks cool because you got this excavation going on. And you got a pirate treasure hunter. Kind of looks like it's from maybe, could have been uh, series one, but I don't recognize the hat. And you got an octopus. It looks like they put in elements from all different series. So there's six different cores. So you have the gold core, you have the green yellow core, and that's on the top. And then you go down and you can see there's the purple core, the red core, the light blue green core. Then you have the uh, dark blue with the light blue stripes. And then you've got the uh, one that has gray around it or well, black. And then it's got little red uh, highlights or little red pinpoints. I mean, that looks cool. And the gold that's in here, gold coins. Man, I'm drooling, I'm salivating. Actually, that's uh, King Gold Crown. He actually has his own coin. Okay, Moose. You can't tease us like this. I see, I want. You produce that gold coin. That is super cool looking with King Gold Crown on it. Man, think of the currency. We could like get off Bitcoin and use this stuff. This is awesome. And then here's the back. 
the collector's guide. And so you got the transparent finishes, Robo Jaws, oh, Scorpy Bling, Goldiator, and then you got uh, Bling Jaro, Gold Web, oh, and then Gold Web is a metallic finish, and then Robo Croc, but he's got this kind of like green thing going on his whole face. And then it says you can swap body parts and create your own. That's cool. And there we go. It explains, it actually details what you saw on the uh, other side here of the different cores you can collect. And there's a total of seven if you include the uh, Ultra Rare Gold Dip Treasure. Then down below, it goes through all the steps, you know, one through 15 levels of Adventure Fun which is what we're gonna do here. So there you go, cool. Now we know what we're doing, sort of. You know, when you turn it right side up, you can see that there's the uh, robot mask face right there. It looks super cool. You know, and then the sides, the ears, and then the top, not much to see there. And of course the bottom, where you pour the water through. And you can actually take this off, this little tool, which you got a little sharp cutting tool here. And then this is like a key. And then there's the X, X marks the spot. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour water in here. Well, let's see what it looks like before we pour the water in. See that, it's all rusty. So that's not the full bot, right? You actually have in one of these containers, I think it's this one that's gonna have the extensions of like, you know, the saw blade on his right hand and the head and then his, you know, legs and stuff. So that's what it looks like. Let's go ahead and put him back in and then pour the water. Oh, this isn't very, oh, we might have to get more water. I mean, we're in for it guys, we're in. We just need more water so I can make a bigger mess. Just don't pour down the center and just splatters all over the place. Is it, it starting like to dissolve? That. I can't see. It's yeah, oh, it is. It's got the metallic finish. Oh, man, let's see. Oh, look, it all came off. See that? Look at the water. It looks exactly like something you put inside a Gujitsu. Pantaro actually had the gold squirrels. Oh, you can see it's, it's spilling out here, too. So that's all they had. They were using this, filling up Pantar with rust. <laughs> Cheap mirrors. There you go. So that's what he looks like, okay? Right here. Okay, so next, this is supposed to be the key on the back. And you see up on the stand here, he's locked in. So you have to like, I think, turn it. Well, you can see it's turning this right here, okay? How many turns? Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> it's going the wrong way. So this is kind of screwing it tight. So you got to go lefty-loosey and not righty-tighty, okay? So watch lefty-loosey. Starting to come undone. Yay, got the screw out of his head. Be free, my friend. Or can you be free? Yeah, there we go. Or maybe we can just leave it, but it just wanted us to unscrew it. Because you you're probably, when you're done, gonna put it back on the stand. Oh, I got rust on me! It actually, in the warning, which we really didn't go over, <laughs> It says, don't rub your eyes and rinse thoroughly with clean water and just stay away from this. It calls it dirt instead of rust in here, but okay. So I won't rub my eyes. That's why I got safety glass. Oh, oh phew. Glad I had those on. Here we go. So we got the screw from the back of his head out. And then out of the two boxes, it looks like the big box is the one that contains the uh, body parts to build them. And you can see at the top, it's got like a little dash line. So it's, you know where you can break it open or cut it open. Well, it says you can use the sawing tool, right? So we'll try to use that and we'll just poke it in that oval right there, okay? Poke it in there, and then go around. I don't go this way. Ugh. Well, the whole thing is gonna come off anyway. I started pulling it up and the whole thing just popped off. I wonder if you could just actually just, yeah, you can just pop them off. You really don't have to use the saw, and plus look at that, it's a noodle saw. I have my souls. <laughs> There's your body parts. And who we get? It's Jello. It's Goldiator. So there we go. Now we're gonna build ourselves a robot. Now how do we build it? You know, it just shows you that one goes where. I mean, if I was a left-handed, I'd put this on my left hand for cutting you up, but I won't. Oh man, look at that. He's got. It's like aliens. <laughs> These like long phalange things. It's kind of creepy. Well, maybe we gotta like take them off first. Oh, more rust on me. Okay, let's see if this works. So he put his eyes in there. Oh, see, actually kind of snapping into place so far. He's looking pretty cool. And then this goes on the right arm, I assume. Okay, I'm looking at the pictures. His left, so I look at the actual collector's guide and it looks like it goes on his left hand extension. There we go. Okay, and then his bottom, nice. And then what are these things? Shin guards, knee guards, all shoulder, shoulder pads. Ah, yes, but which one goes on which side doesn't really matter. But the shoulder pads, I, I guess they can go either way. They're universal. So maybe this, and it's trial and error thing, I guess. Maybe we'll try this side. Oh, that's really weird. They don't really show you which side, but if you look at those, those are bent. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be bent or what. Ah, oh, okay, it's not a straight thing. So we're gonna try our best to get his shoulder pads on. I guess that's okay. 
And then this, I mean, it's like playing football, you know? You gotta have shoulder pads protection when you're going to war. Oh, here we go. Gotta make sure this fits on right. It doesn't quite snap down in the back, but you can see it's kind of lifting up just a little bit. But that just may be me not putting on right. We'll see how it works. So there's our robot. Ah, that's pretty cool, I like it. And except, what are we missing here? We're missing his power core, right? Is that what's supposed to be there? Or am I missing another tool? No, gold. Oh, we're missing a piece, Moose. And you see right there, that's what we're missing for his right hand. He doesn't have a right hand, unless it's in the other container. All right, we'll open this up and see if it's in here. Come on, oh. dagger. It's already bent, it's not working. Well, uh, we'll try our candy corn, and we'll just try to go. Well, it's not as messy. Yeah, I'm trying not to cut anything, especially me. Oh, but it, it works really well, as near as I can tell. Better than that noodle saw. Okay, there you go. Okay, there, X marks the spotty. Okay, look for the coat on that. I don't want to see a coat. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. It's like fingers on chalkboard. Okay, so there's the roundabout right there, guys. See that? Cheap roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the top, and then here's the bottom. It's kind of all the same. And so with this one, it just says you just want to break it with this thing, and that's kind of wimpy, but we'll try it. Or I'll use my, or actually, it's pretty easy to squeeze. Oh, wow. Actually, that's his hand. I think this is his hand. It just came, oh, I thought we were going to lose it. What is that? Just kind of like a curved shovel inside of it, the extension, part of the uh, circle's flat cylinder. And so you're going to find the flat side and just try to line it up there. There we go. Uh, does that turn the right way? Because it looks like he just, you know, if he's got a scratch on his face, he could scratch it. I think so. You can move his arms up back and forth. You can't really bend at the elbows, so it's pretty much stuck into place, okay? Cool. All right. Oh, and then you get some sand. Yay! Oh, what's this? I don't know what that is. It's a Chinese swing saw. Ow. Ow. It was a piece of paper. Oh, man. So you get some sand in there. It's pretty cool. Or just uh, playable rust. Okay. That looks awesome. I love, it feels so good. It's so satisfying. It's, it's kind of like kinetic sand. So let's see. Now we got to find his core. And I wonder if the cores are like targeted to a specific like a goldiator who's always going to get uh, the green gold core. Okay. So there we go. It's got lightning. There you go. So be careful, man. You open this up, you could get static electricity. <laughs> so be sure to rub your feet on the floor and then touch camera mom. Okay, here we go. Well, actually, does it feel, it doesn't feel heavy at all. So, oh, that's cool looking, guys. It's a little blue, light blue top and it's got the dark blue around it and it's kind of got that metallic look to it. And then there's the other side of it. I mean, that's cool. It just kind of looks more like a bullet to me, you know. Silver bullet that killed the werewolf. <laughs> this one is the power core that charges them up. Now, we gotta put it in here. That's cool. Remember, you can swap body parts, maybe even power cores. Well, definitely power cores. And so, does it really match him? Well, there's the dark blue. Oh, I wonder if you could just look at them and just discern which one's gonna actually go with them. Because I assume Moose is trying to match certain colors. I would never wear green with that yellow. But, you know, it works. The blue. It goes with his ski mask here. You know, it gets really cold. He breathes through that, filters out the cold air. Okay, guys, you know how the unboxing goes. And since you already know that, let's just go ahead and quickly unbox these and we'll get right down to what additional ones we found. So we got one, we got five more to go, plus the go. Let's go. Okay, it's gonna get kind of messy here, guys. So we got the four right here, and this time we're just gonna pop their tops. Maybe we ought to get the key and just drop them all, because they're all gonna be the same, right? And just see what kind of money, or should we actually do it this way? Okay, you want me to do this way? Okay, zoom in, because once the waters get muddy, it's all over. You can see it's kind of like sparkly. It's starting to sparkle a little bit. Should I just disturb the waters a little bit? Oh, see, it's starting to come off, see that? And when you have it in the blue container, you're just not gonna see that, guys. I mean, this is the fun part. We can actually see it break apart. We just miss swirl it and start to come off. There you go. It's just more breaking apart, shredding, kind of like, you know, some, I don't know, it looks like a bunch of golden bats just flaking off and flying all over the place. I thought it would dissolve and create that murky goo like it did over here. Maybe the water's gotta be really hot. Cause like this one right here, it doesn't look like it was shattered bats or pieces of undigested rust. So I wonder if the water, yeah, that's like lukewarm. We gotta get James Brown hot and not Connie cold either. Well, Luke, he's warm. 
<laughs> we'll try the next one, okay, guys? But this time we're gonna get super, uh, we'll get uh, maybe not boiling water, we'll just get hot tap water, okay? Okay, camera mom says she got hot tap water and to verify it, we got Jane Brown. So we have to dip the toe into more. Ah, that is hot tap water. Like and subscribe. Okay, here we go. Now it's hot. And if this doesn't really melt it, then we're gonna, oh, hmm, looking like it's, yeah, it's coming off faster and it's mixing. Oh, that is cool. That is awesome, guys. You gotta get high, hot water. It's like that too hot in the hot tub. Look how cool that is, guys. I mean, hot. Oh, look, look it's mushrooming on the side. You can't see it, maybe. That looks so cool. I'll pull it out. Look at that. Oh my goodness. You guys have to have hot water. Don't disappoint me. Don't put in the comments you guys saying, I didn't have hot water because, you know, James Brown, he gonna go frown. He be down. He don't like it when you don't listen to Adventure Fun Dad. Okay. Oh man, look at how cool that is, guys. Oh, should we hurry and do the others while it's still hot? Will it work? Oh man, hurry. Go, go, go. Everybody, take a dip. Into the hot sun. Oh, look, look at that. That is super thick. Man, that's like metallic goo for some goo jetsu. Huh, uh-oh. They do come differently-ish. And I don't remember which one went to which. <laughs> I think this is the metallic finish robo jaws. Okay, hold on. I thought they were all gonna be the same. They're all gonna look like, oh, no, look, look. He's got a silver bodice. They both have gold bodices. And who has got the gold bodices? Oh, that's gotta be Scorp bling, bling, Scorpy bling. I think we're like tripped out on Scorpy blings. <laughs> Look at that. I think we got three Scorpy blings. Oh, duplicates, 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 duplicates. And then this one's gonna be our transparent finished Robo Jaws, at least, oh. Yeah, his arm's still like got tissues. Guys, doesn't that look like Gujitsu's? Oh, that's what Jacob called it years ago when we first introduced to Gujitsu's. He preferred Gujitsu's. Okay, metallic finish. Mm, looks like it. And then take one good look at that swirly cesspool. Oh, cool. do I do I dare dit? It's like, you know, it's Halloween. Double, double, toil and trouble. That's all I do to cook for you up a good little video on Adventure Fun. I toil and I trouble. <laughs> that is so cool, guys. And Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out, guys. You gotta like and subscribe, because, oh man, have we got the lowdown on the merch. You gotta see it somewhere super cool. We can have the cereal Hocus Pocus. Yeah, totally, as if we do. We might even eat it. Guys, I just had an apostrophe. You know, if you've seen Hocus Pocus 1, where they stir up the pot and they have the kids drink it so they can, you know, take the life out of them so they become younger, maybe they put it in the cereal. And then they eat it. And then all of a sudden the witchy poos come back and they get younger. I mean, they may look younger on the outside, but they're ugly on the inside with that evil. Okay, look at that. Look how it's changing. Oh my gosh, that is just like amazing. We ought to like do this and it'd be cool because they had those gujitsu balls, you can put those in those squeezable balls. Yeah. But there's something like, it looks like a flower. That's cray, man. That is so weird, guys. You saw it here first. <laughs> agitate, 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 wait. It's like staring at the clouds going, what can I see in the clouds today? I see Billy subscribing, I see Suzy subscribing. <laughs> It's always Billy and Susie. Don't we have any other subscriber names? Hey, put in the comments below if you're somebody else other than Billy and Susie. We love you, Billy and Susie. <laughs> yeah, no offense to Billy and Susie. You're awesome, totally, woo! That's so awesome. Why would, you know, Moose want to have it hidden in here? You wouldn't be able to see it. it just, and it's gotta be hot water, okay, guys? All right, we dwelt enough on this, although, cool, I'd like to see that back in a few minutes. Oh, man, just don't rub your eyes. Okay, so here we go. One. There's two. Oh, okay, green. So that one's gonna be Robo Croc. That's super cool. I know I have to pull out the box too, right? Wow. Looks like that's all we got is this Robo Croc. And these were on the heavier side of the Robo uh, Gold, okay? Robot Gold. And then I think those were the heaviest, and these are the lightest ones or lighter ones. And so one we definitely have to is, oh, wow. No, this one's the trans, okay, he's the transparent finish, okay? And that's supposed to go on him, right? Yes, okay, so we'll place him there, and then these two go right here, okay? And then, whoa, and then the last one. Oh, another one, exact same Robocroc. We've got a lot of those. And so on the heavy ends, that's what you get, so I wonder if any one of those have gold. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and build these guys, okay? We'll do that in a GIF. Okay, wait, which one's different? This. It feels heavier. It does, it feels a lot heavier. Oh my gosh. You guys aren't supposed to, this is behind the scenes stuff, man. What you doing looking backstage? <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and build our Crocky. I wanna see what he looks like. Oh, we're supposed to unscrew him from the back. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, just all this ooze. Okay. I think I'm a pro now. I think I'm a pro now. <laughs> That's just what cute me. Oh my gosh. So sorry. Did you guys get that? <laughs> no. Singing, I think I'm a pro now. I thought she was saying, I think I'm a pronoun. Watch your pronouns. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who sang that song? It was an 80s song. That's all I got to say. Oh, Debbie. Oh, so I got to get this right. So as it goes on his left, no, oh, his right hand. Oh, he's got a mace. It's a golden mace. Oh, actually, you see, it's got a dollar sign there. It's not enough to look at and say, well, that's gold. It actually looks more bronze, but gold. <laughs> You have to put a dollar sign to let you know that it's worth something. Okay, I'm following you. Oh, that looks cool. That does look good. Okay, then this goes on here. Wow, where's this go? That one looks like it fits there. Okay, and then this. What the dealio? That goes on that side, that goes on that side, that goes on this side. Uh, there's something on the back, it looks like. It looks like he's got a... Because it looks like there's something that's hanging down from his back, and this could be the... Oh, oh, see this? So that clips here, okay? And these two things go on the back here, okay? And what is this? You need something motivational? Kick him in the high knee to get him going. <laughs> oh my God. Ow, ow, ow. Maybe they have it the wrong way. Maybe it goes up, up, up this way. It's like, <laughs> gunk, gunk. Ah! Why a motivational kick in the rear to get things going? Oh, my dad would be so proud if I had one of these on my keister. Get going, boy. You got lots to do. Okay, that's interesting. That's all I got to say. But let me take a look at the front. The front looks pretty wicked. It looks cool. Now for the transparent. So this one's the Robo Jaws. Let's go ahead and unscrew them. There we go. And, you know, could you actually screw them back on? Or would you just have them stand on their platform? I'm not sure if you want to keep the platform or not. But if you screw them back on, it may not fit, especially when he's got his back high knee kicker. Look at that. You couldn't put it back on and screw it in. It just wouldn't work, right? So let's go ahead and build this thing. There's the eyes. You can see the eyes right there, right? Googly things. Goes through. Transparent. Oh, look at that. It looks like Shark Boy. That looks cool. And then what's this for? Oh, he's got both of them, right and left. So I guess it doesn't really matter which ones you put it on. Let's see. Actually, the fins are supposed to go out, so it's got to go this way. So the gold fin's supposed to be on the outside, so you, know, you can slice people, and it's like, bam, it flew, flew, flew. You know, it's a protector, too. So a little bit of defense. All right. What do you think, guys? It looks cool. I really like him. And you guys can see how transparent he is. He's not hiding anything through and through. It'd be cool if his mouth opened, you know, that'd be awesome. And it's cool if these things actually could flip and shoot bullets and stuff. These, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of like ice. It'd be cool if they could actually shoot, but you can pretend, use your imagination. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so the first two and these two um, both have the same codes in the back. So let's go ahead and just smash these. Oh, it's very satisfying. Oh, I love the sand. Super cool. And that one stayed together. This one's kind of broken up and it's kind of all over the place. But man, you can make a, oh, a little bit of issy issy there. Or Chinese swing stars. Oh, there's his shoulder pads. Yeah, now he's going to be complete. There we go. He's ready for football. Three, two. Now oh, there's the football right there. He actually hikes it to himself. Just throws it up, catches it. Three, two, three. Oh, his thing <laughs> pops. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I don't know how I did that, but that was pretty fun. Thank you, 24. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. And he's going. He's past the 10, the 20, the 30, the 40. He's going down the other side. Now he's on the 40, 30, 10. You make the call. Does he make the touchdown? Go ahead and like if he did. Okay, then we got these right here. Any gold in there? Feels kind of light, guys, but we got to find out what uh, his power-up is, what it looks like, and see if they're all the same. Oh, that makes sense, right? The green goes with the green. Green goal. There we go. There's his power core. And I think it's going to be the same here. Okay, there we go. Those power cores are super cool, man. Like them. Yeah. Look at that, guys. I got the Midas touch or rust nice. touch. Oh. So we got that one. Okay, then we got two more. Okay, so this one, if you look at it, one zero zero one four two two, and then this one's one zero zero one two 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 two, and this one feels heavier, guys. So I think the gold came with him, but let's crack this one, because remember we got three of. Okay, there's the shoulder pads, right? The green shoulder pads. So we know now it's tied to our Robo Croc, and it's not a bunch of Croc. And then this one doesn't feel heavy at all. So the power cores look super cool. Now for this one. You know, it's interesting because if we get the gold in this one, then we got to find him again without the gold. I mean, from with the gold. But, you know, we got to see what it looks like, the power core. We can just look at the picture and just go, oh, and just amaze ourselves by looking at the picture. Okay. 
All right, so first, okay, there's our sand. Everybody's got shoulder pads, right? I, I think these are shoulder dealies. In fact, they look like shoulder rock. Look at that. That's like a little jet engine. <laughs> That looks cool. So I want to make sure I get it on right. So it's going to be facing towards, okay, that's in. So it's got to be, oh, can you turn it? Oh, I guess you can. Oh, and it even comes off. <laughs> that's cool. It'll fly away because it's actually, it only goes one way. This extension actually is flat and there's a flat side inside the hole here. So it's got to go one way. Oh, it goes in his back. That mic sounds holy holy. It looks better when it goes in his back. That's awesome, man. I love it. Stay on target. Like and subscribe. Stay on target. This one right here, I don't know. It felt heavy, but it could have been those things, you know. Yeah, that's real heavy. And this one doesn't feel heavy. Okay, there's cool. There's the core for that one. That one looks nice. That's cool. I think out of all of them so far, he's my favorite. He looks the coolest. So we got three out of the six. We got three more to collect plus the gold. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to put all these bots into our stew here. Oh, you hear it bubbling. So what do we get out of six of them? Okay, there's silver. Silver's a good sign. That's something different. We haven't seen silver, have we? No, we did. That was a goldiator. We got some blue ones, but it kind of reminds me of this dude right here, our uh, Robo Jaws, transparent finish, which is kind of interesting because these ones that we're using are at the lighter end, like almost a pound, where these that we did before, the others, they were at the heavier, like a pound and uh, 1.3 ounces or something. So this has got me as a head scratcher here, guys. Okay, let's take a look at one of these cesspools. Yeah, look, we're getting all the same ones, it looks like. Huh. No, that's different. Yeah, it looks different. Look at this one. That one's a dark blue and that one's blue, very light metallic. Oh, look, we didn't get the rest off of him. So look, those two are the same. This one looks different. That one looks cool. So these weren't supposed to be transparent. Now who's him? Is this gold web, metallic finish? Guys, I think we got gold web. We got Spooderman or Spooderbot. That's cool. So it looks like the lighter ones are getting a Spooderbot. Look, I think we got two Spooderbots. And then this one looks the same as Goldiator. Oh, oh, and this one could be Robocroc again. I think he's the only one that's gold, although it could be Scorp. The bling. He's got a gold bodice. I think we got some different ones. No, oh, anymore. Oh, I had to get gloves on, guys. I just don't know if this leech stuff and all of a sudden I got heavy metals in me. We should be rocking outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> look at that cesspool. Let uh, me mix these all up. We're just gonna have to go through it and see what we got. Oh, okay, so I know we have the same, uh, at least one of them. So there we go, that's our Robo Jaws. So I think that goes to him, right? Okay. Okay, different. Di oh, no, actually it's the same. So in the lighter ones, we actually got the same one. We got our Goldiator. Okay, a big one. Oh, yeah, different. This one's orange. I think it's Scarpy Bling. I think we got our Bling Bling. Ah, oh, well, it's kind of pumpkin-y for Halloween. Oh, look at that. It looks like a Doc Ock, kind of his little like extensions here, phalanges. And I think that goes on his back. I can't, actually I think this looks like it goes to Goldweb. No, this is Scorpion. Cause in the picture, it looks like it's red for the face, but the coloring, the printer may not have worked well for him at the Moose Factory. So this one is definitely orange. Okay, so finally we got Scorpa Bing Bing. Yeah, we gotta build him. So which boss, he think he goes towards the gold. So this is a Scorpa Bling, okay? This is so cool guys. We're completing our collection. Nice. That's his bottom. Sweet. Kind of cringy. And then this pincher. Oh, he's got two pinchers. So it doesn't really matter, I guess, on the right side and on the left. Can't go wrong. Okay, and then here for the back. Okay, I'm gonna put this on his back first. And is that just to grab him, <laughs> pull him up by the shorts? Well, that's a scorpion. That's supposed to be a sting, right? right. Oh, there it goes the other way around. Of course, because you have to sting his head. Well, the stinger is supposed to come all the way around zappy, right? It could be a side stinger, but he's not a sidewinder. It'd kind of break off. But the idea is still really cool, guys. I mean, look at that. He looks cool. I love the scorpion bling. Woo! And so far, how many we got collect? We got four. Oh, we still have these guys because we got the metallic, right? So the metallic finish is going to be our gold web. So we have gold web. We got to find him. There we go. There's our gold web. Oh, man, he looks cringe. He looks spooky. Look at those little eyes on the top of his head. Oh, look, you got the Spooderman sideburns. That's so cool. Okay, let's get them all out. And then he's going to go with the metallic finish. Metallic finish is gold web. 
Okay, and then, so he's got his drills, which go on both sides of his hands. Let me see if it's facing up. Yep, you got these uh, two extensions going up. So make sure you turn it the right way so they're both facing up, okay? And then, oh look, just like Scorpabling, he's got his like, well, he doesn't have eight legs, but yeah, four is good enough. We'll put that on there. And then these come in his back, so he looks like he could shoot you. Let me make sure I get that. Oh, wow. Look how cool that is, guys. Look at him. He's got his missile attacks. And he's got his drillers, you know. God, and does he have fangs? He does. He's got his fangs. I mean, look at all that weaponry. I mean, he just drills through the dirt and the mud to find you and to faint. And then if you resist or stuff, you try to get away to any bombs. You shoot. That is cool, man. I think out of all of them, I like the transparency of him. He looks really cool. I think he's more colorful and more creepy. We got Bling Jaro. Bling Jaro is the last one we need to collect. And we got to get the bling with Bling Jaro. But do we get the bling with these guys? Actually, these are going to be the same, right? So we got two of them, right? Oh, one more. So we got another one. Same one. It's our Scorpa bling. Now we just need to whew, see if we got gold in any one of these. Does anyone heavy? Can I detect kind of light? If anything, it might be these. I mean, it'd be cool if we got two of them, right? That had gold. Remember guys, this isn't good on digestion to whip through it this fast. When you get one, you gotta do the cutting and all this. We gotta get this going. Our subscribers, they need to know fast which ones they want. So here we go, guys. Oh, does anyone have different codes? Is that what we're supposed to be looking for? Just to see for um, laugh. I mean, really, do you wanna know if it has gold before you actually open it up? So this one's the same as this one, and this one's the same as that one, and that one uh, looks like we just got to, you know. I don't think the codes are gonna tell you because I think it's just marking specifically gold web and the other one, which was our Scorpa bling. So I think that's what I'm thinking. We gotta get their attachments. Okay, there's our jet packs right there, right? Yellow. God, I'm feeling them. See if there's any gold nose. I haven't felt anything that was heavy yet. Okay, now this one is different, and I think this is our spooter web shoulder pads. Okay, so for our gold web, that's just so oh, that's cool. cool. These shoulder pads, man, Moose, you guys did really super cool. I mean, I, I really like these. Let me make sure I put it in right. And you got the dollar signs on the shoulder pads too, guys. See that? That oh, looks cool. I like it. Come on. It's supposed to be one in like, one in 12. Don't remind me, I thought it'd be one in eight. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, then we got to do the shoulder pads. Well, these are spiked ones for our Scorpa bling. Look at that. Ow. And they say if you put your shoulder to the wheel, it'll pop the wheel with those things, so don't do it, okay? <laughs> and it goes on our Scorpion Bling. Let me make sure which way we uh, go up. It's okay, two up. Oh, and it's hard to push it in because it actually pokes your fingers as you're pushing it in. There we go. See that? He looks beautiful. He's walking on the runway. Doop. Two Scorpion for your bling. Two Scorpion for your bling. It uh, hurts, I sting. So here's all the packages. And we open up this one. Okay, there we go. Fire bling, so it ought to match. Is it the spooter web one? Oh no, we kind of messed up, you know, mom. Let's open the other one, see if we can do a match. I assume the purple is gonna be our gold web. So that one, I'll buy that. Okay, see, see the purple for our gold web? Very nice. That's how he gets his uh, web shooters. And then this one is, uh, you think it's this one right here? I think this one, actually, because you see the center of the orange right there, and then it's kind of red. At least the orange matches this, or this orange right here, right? Yeah. So I think we're good. Cool. We need a power core super. Oh, we did it! Yes! yes, yes, yes. And this was on the lighter one, guys. Oh, my goodness. We got to do the rest of these light ones over here, camera. We got to get more gold. That's pure power. Yeah! Yo, he's, ah, look, it's his mic. Now I gotta go live. I see you. Like, subscribe. Like, and subscribe. Living in America. Okay. That's all I remember from Rocky Four that he sang. It was a cool song. I don't know which one it went to. What if we... Oh, we still have more to open. I don't know if we have more go. But we got the gold in that one. Okay, that one, you know, that one went to our um, Stinger, Scorpion Bling. And then, you know, this, and I couldn't really tell. It didn't feel like it was super heavy. Okay, now this one, we already know. That one goes to our um, Robo Jaws, our shark dude. And we got one more. It's hard to tell. They, you can't really tell it's so light. Oh, nice one. Another one, same one. Oh man, who we want to give this to that gets the power up? 
camera mom needs a power up. I tell you what, it gets me a power up. When I'm feeling heavy and I need something light, it's light water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I mean, but it's actually good water. I like it. Okay, so there we go. How would it look like if we put it in this uh, transparent dude? Look at that. That looks really cool with the gold. That really is the bling bling, you know. You can shake your bling bling there. That looks super cool, guys. Oh. I just don't want to lose them just yet because I'm trying to keep match of what we got. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and clean this up and let's go to the next six because we're still one away from getting a full collection here. We're still looking for a bling jaw. Okay, guys, before we dive into, well, these guys dive into the rest of uh, the soup here, I want to show you what the soup looks like. Look what we're having over for adventure fun. Come over for some uh, golden rusty stew. It just looks cool. Look how dark the lines are and how it collects the metallic sheen. It's just really weird. And we just let it sit like that and just came together. I mean, it just, guys could actually paint almost a house like that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and look how we just stirred up just a little bit. I mean, I think that's just what they put inside their gujitsus and it's just so cool. So I want to take a moment out just to show you guys this and how cool it looked when it's settled here. So if you guys do it our way, man, you know what? Have safety glasses on so when it, you know, splashes, it doesn't get you in the eye. So here we go. Let's get him in there. And then we'll see, because the next one we need, and this one ought to be a true red, Bling Jaro. So we're looking for anything red. So we see some blues here. So it looks like we've got, I have to compare them with the metallic finish, or if we got gold web, or if we've got the, I don't think we have transparent one, because the metallic finishes are uh, gold web. Okay, so yeah, it's hard to see. Let me take a comparison here. So these ones, I think it's gonna be our uh, Robo Jaws, it looks like. It looks like uh, we got another Robo Jaw, because it's not really a metallic finish. They all kind of look like the same dull color, it looks like, as near as I can tell. And then these ones right here, the gray ones, Goldiator, but possibly out of these three, we'll get one that's a Bling Jaro. Oh, careful, I'm like flicking it. Oh, get it off. Okay, so we gotta go for the big bags. Big boxes. There we go, we got a shark. Uh, we got another shark. Yeah, we're getting a lot of those here. So we probably get one more for, uh, you know, the third and final one. Oh, just camera mom lined them all up. So we got three sharks. Okay, now. These last three, oh, Jaro, Bling Jaro. No, we got our Goldilocks again. Yeah, our Goldiator. So I assume, you know, the rest Goldiator. The last one Goldiator. Oh, we did it! It looks like, hold on, it's supposed to be red. Is it him, is it him? Yes, it's our Bling Jaro. We finally got him, we got the full collection, guys. Cause it's gonna fit one of these, right? And they're all looking the same. So the gray could go with our Goldiator or it can go with our Bling Jaro. Nice. So there we go, there's his melon. Then we just gotta pick one that's not so uh, rusty. Put him on, and there's his bottom. Oh, if I can get him in there. A little bit rough. Oh, he's got saw blades for his hands. Let me make sure I put them on right. Is it saw up? Yeah. So this part, the uh, forearm guards go up. No, I call them forearm guards. So it fits right like that. I love his saws. Those are super cool. And then are these his shoulder pads? Looks like you already get them. You don't have to, you know, open up the other package for him. Oh, those look cool. Oh man, that looks awesome, guys. I love his shoulder pads. I think he's like my second favorite. Gold Web is my first one. Although I like the color of the green gull, Robo Croc. And the scorpion, not the color, but I love his stinger in the back. Man, these all look super, and I love his alien finish and just his simple, it almost reminds me of a Transformers a little bit, the front look like Bumblebee. That looks cool. Of course, Bumblebee with a little bit of attitude. Yeah, we're going to rave party, Woo! He's got his mohawk, right? Oh man, that's cool. Okay, so where do we stop? <laughs> Is this the red guy? Yeah. He was the last one? Okay, now it's feeling heavy. There's gold in this one, but you know what? If he's the only one we got, I'm gonna regret saying this, but I really wanna see the original core, you know. Okay, look at this, he's got a disc. Where's this disc go? On his back, I bet. Yeah, he's got two. So there's the two extensions, and you put that on his back. Hang on, let's do it like this. This looks super cool, guys. He looks more ninja like that to me. That just looks awesome. Saw blades, man. Did a Fortnite, if I could do a Fortnite challenge just using saw blades, and I was confident I'd win, I'd do it. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> that looks like super cool, it's back, that looks awesome. We gotta open this up with this gold or not, we just gotta open it up, we gotta see. Oh, but you know, that's cool. That's cool, so dark black with the red spots for his power up core. So we'll put that in there and we completed our set, guys. Now all we have to do, and do we have gold in any one of these? That would be cool. In fact, I think these were the heavier ones. No, these were, 
the rest of the light ones. So we might get a gold if they, you know, packed it in the lighter end of it. So let's go ahead and take a look. I think the codes are only tied to a specific, you know, robot, uh, and they're all looking the same. So, well, except this is 1122, 1122, the suffix towards the end, and this is a- Or 1222, 1222, and 1222. So let's go ahead and get them open. Just gonna look for gold this time, guys. Here we go. It still looks cool. I love some of those extensions with those propellers. I mean, it's just, that's cool. I love it. And I love the sand. Seems like the gold is just as light as everything else. If I could guess. Oh, they're so light. <laughs> okay, well, here we go. There's one. No gold. And two. No gold. Three. Let there be gold. No. Four. No gold. Five. No gold. So what do you think, guys? We got five left. It'd be shame if we didn't open them up and we missed out on gold, right? Should we open it? Because we got the collection, guys. Now we're just looking for gold, right? Okay, stay tuned. If the video ends now, then you'll know. Guys, look at this now. Jello! <laughs> Sounds like a minion. Hello! That just looks cool. Anyways, that's, that's a super cool. So we got five left. Let's go ahead and crack them. Uh, one. Oh. Oh, I was going to try to cry. How that hurt. Oh, look! We got another dude! Another uh, of our bling jaw hole. That's cool. Scorpius. And then we got, it looks like another Goldie Web and another one of those pilots. Okay. Is there anything that's feeling heavy out of all this? Ugh. Even the one that I opened didn't feel heavy, but you'd think there would be a little bit of weight to it. I don't know, guys. Like I said, if we got more than one, that'd be super cool. I love the green core. That looks awesome. And nothing. Oh, we're down to like three left. This is nail biting. The purple's super cool. Okay, last one, guys. Let's gold. Well, we didn't, but we did really good considering that it was one in 12. Now there's like another case that has the two and one that has the gold. Oh, but you can have the gold too, guys. So should be sure to like and subscribe. We got those mini robots that are coming out soon too. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. See you soon. Woo! And now onto the Fortnite challenge where I got to win in the skin. And it's not a bot skin, but guys, it's season four, it's new. And Spider-Gwen, she's the coolest out of all the skins, well, at least in my opinion. And be sure to like and subscribe because if you do, I bet she really love it. And I would love it too. Thanks guys, let's go. Guys, look at this, all new season in Fortnite, the Chrome. It kind of looks eerie, but I guess they're getting ready for Halloween. But her skin looks great. Um, who's your favorite? Spooderman. Oh, you got the splash screen here. I mean, is it the Spider-Man, Miles Morales? Is it his skin? Is it the Metal Suit skin? Um, right now, as far as Fortnite goes, Gwen's got a cool skin, and I love her bass drum, snare drum. Some sort of drum there, she's gonna smack somebody over the head if you ever pickaxe them. And you can see the map here, some things have changed. Greasy Grove has gone fallish. And then we got some hidden parts of the map that I'll have to reveal, but I'm gonna go for my favorite landing spot here, I'm gonna mark it. Jump. Oh man, look at the contrail, the chemtrails, the trails from Gwen. That's so animated, it's totally awesome, you know. It's almost like I'm in the movie itself. And then I love her glider, look at that. Just shoots the webs out and she's got the main one and two little uh, support gliders to help her turn left or right. I'm telling you, she's my favorite uh, spooter skin in all of Fortnite and of all the spider skins that I do have. Okay, looks like we got a bogey down below us on a surfboard. It looks like they want to land at the house, making their way. Maybe I ought to like try to see if I can like frighten them off. This is my area. Don't go near there. Stay away. Oh, well, okay. They know that I'm here now, so I got to like double time it. Okay, cool. At least I got to suppress my chin gun. Let's hurry and take time out for a potty break. Nice. I got to hurry, man. Oh, yeah. I knew she'd be right on me. Shotgun, too. Ooh. Oh, a sub and press machine gun. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> totally just took her out. But then she didn't have much shield. I had time to shield up. Uh, she just didn't wait. She just, I guess, got the shotgun and just came right after me. Slurp and burp. Oh, man, right off the bat. Wow, that was fast. And thank you for the shotgun. Cool. Upgrade our shotgun here. Man, when she pulls out that snare drum, it just takes up half the Fortnite map. <laughs> and it'd be cool to find the spicy chug splashes. That increase your speed. I gotta tell you, man, that's suppressed submachine gun. I think that's my backup. Shotgun first, suppressed next. And then to the house, which I see some shockwaves. Definitely 
switch those out for the insta part to fart. Oh, a key. So if you get uh, keys on the map, it'll show you places you can go to to unlock safes and be able to get what's inside there. I just heard somebody. Where are you? There you is. 22, 56. Ooh, 32 whited. Oh man, she... Okay, I'm gonna have to switch over. Oh, she didn't have much left, but there's something with this sub repressed machine gun, man, that you just... Like, once that comes out, it is over. Oh, look at it. Smacks in the cartoon character shards from the wall there. That's cool. Well, there's one of those chrome uh, transformers. Oh, and there's the chrome, Evo chrome shotgun, where after you do so many hits, it actually upgrades your shotgun. And you'll see a bar, Evo chrome shotgun, that when I start making some shots and nailing people with, it actually will fill the bar when it fills the bar completely, then it upgrades from right, a green now, common to a uh, rare. Yeah, let's do this time to heal up real quick. Splash out the rest. Okay, Woofies, let me try to tame one of you. There we go. The other one, you gotta go away. Can't have more than one pet. Especially since you guys just fight each other. Okay, Storm's on her tail, or Woofie's tail. <laughs> Soon to be my. Let's just see what's in here real quick. Oh, nice upgrade for the Rapid Fire SMG. Uh, I think this is gonna be my favorite, Rapid Fire. I, I already said that, but I just, you know, for emphasis. Rapid Fire, must take, must have, must keep. New friend, Ugh. Oh, okay. okay. Who are you? Oh, OG, She Hulk, attorney at Lee, and somebody else on the other side. Okay, I ain't hanging around. Jeez. Okay. Ouch. Shockwave. Shockwave again. Let's go. Okay, let's try and go down the river and get away from these dudes. Try to regroup and splash it out. Call. Look at that. Chrome all over like a river. Runs through it. Taking over. Everything's supposed to turn chrome here. And that's so cool when you load up the chrome shotgun. How it recoils like that. That's pretty cool, but... And if everything turns chrome, that's going to be one crazy uh, map. It does look kind of pretty. Oh, look at that, that's pretty, what's emanating from underneath the ground. I wonder, because the island flipped over, oh, nice flowers, if there's something coming up that's like an in response to the chrome. Oh, you see that the bubble up at the top in my visual audio? That's somebody that's chrome bubbling. They turn into chrome and they're just bubbling across the, uh, in front of me somewhere. Oh, there he is, you see the bubble? He just went right into the bush. It's just so creepy, a little slinking. Reminds me of uh, earlier season of Fortnite, how they had these desert rats where you can go in the sand and just start moving around. Now it's chrome rats. And I'll try to go around. I don't know if he's still in that bush there. I ain't gonna take no chances. Ghost Gwen don't want to become a ghost again. Not in like ethereal form. <laughs> Let's get going. I don't think he's there. He probably ran away a while back. I don't know if it's just the Gwen suit or if it's just new part of the update of Fortnite where you hit the bush and it sounds like somebody else is entering. It's just like whoosh. I'm like, ah, who else is in the bush? Okay, and you see the uh, spread out, the dot, dot, dots on the uh, chrome shotgun. Okay, incoming. Bye. Oh, that's some good tunes. But I gotta be able to focus. Okay. Oh, I took out a tire. I'm limping. I gotta keep going. That uh, tire is toast. Uh, I'll just sit here in the bush. Uh oh. I hope this guy didn't see me. Okay, somebody else is after him. Oh, it's that, uh, it's the chrome rifle. It makes that funny sound. It shoots, I think, three at a time. Oh, there's three dudes out there. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh man, this is like mayhem. One, two, three, two in cars, one outside shooting. Oh, now he's switching tucks. Oh, and then somebody on the other side. There's four people here. And we got uh, 15 players left. Oh man. I... Let's see if we can. Oops. Ouch. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he thinks I'm probably gone. Oh, look, we got two other people that are uh, rat crones. Jeez. Oh, Ouch. Okay. 
Oh, he got lasered. Oh, there's somebody else out there with the crown. Guys, this is cray. Oh my gosh, I've never been in such an intense battle of five. I think there was actually up to five people. Now we're down to 12 players. And usually it would have annihilated the... Okay, there's somebody up there. This bush. I think he has the crown. And I want to go over there, but I just don't know who else is around. See, somebody else is bubbling at the visual audio in the chrome. My loadout. It's okay. Oh, look. There goes the chrome rat. <laughs> Some sort of, like, alien. Oh, man. That's hilarious. The other thing you can do with the chrome is throw it right against the wall and enter through the wall. So I got to be careful. And there's two of them right here, chrome rats. Look, he's coming. Oh, he sees me. He's coming around. He's shooting at me. I got to get around here, hide. Oh, wow. A nice epic chest. I'd like to get it, but I'm not going to have time. Oh, see, he just turned chrome. He went through the wall of the uh, trailer. I just got to stay here. I bet he's trying to find me. Oh, well, there's another. What happened to the other chrome dude? There's two of them. Turning yourself into chrome, you can move more rapidly and get to places faster. I just haven't figured it out yet. Oh man, you see that swipe over to the gun? It's like Gwen's got some uh, cartoon anime, not 3D, but just more of that 2D. Or maybe it's just my frame rate kind of glitching here in Fortnite. It, it, it had some issues, I noticed. And you guys might see it during the video here. I think they may still have to do some updates with their updates, okay. Somebody's behind me. I'll just head to the bush here. You hear that? It's like the moment I enter it, I haven't heard that before. When she enters it, if it's the update, it just sounds like somebody else is breaking and crashing in. Okay, eight players left. I guess it's true what they say, safety in numbers, and there was a lot of people around me, and then somehow I survived. Oh, there he is. That's kind of weird. Fortnite's glitching a little bit. She's... Well, at least my bullets are hitting her. Oh, yeah, Fortnite's glitching. That's weird. Either that or my uh, bandwidth is slow. I think it's glitching. I never had bandwidth this horrible. Or maybe there's a lot of people playing the new season. I don't know. Well, let's try and find a safe place. Okay, she's behind me though. I don't. There's no coverage down there, so I'll just wait it out here. Okay, six players left. Oh, five players left. All right. Man, these logs are protecting me. Okay, somebody's... Oh, they chromed it over to the truck, and now they're in the truck. Oh, oh here he comes. I don't know, oh, man. He's coming right at me. I'll get behind here and... Oh, a bush! Yay! Oh, he's chroming over. <laughs> he's chroming over. He's coming over. <laughs> Honey. Okay, here he comes, right? Oh, no. He wanted to find out where I was at. Well, I isn't there. He's coming down to the bush. There you go. Oh, he chromed. Oh, he threw down the chrome to chrome to get away, and he chromed me too. Gwen's all chromed. If I blobify, ouch. If I hit the letter Z, I can blobify. And start becoming a blob rat. And the rocks are chrome. The whole bush is chrome. That looks cool. If you look at Gwen's hair, Oh, it's not her hair, but it looks like her hair, like from the 50s in style with her hoodie. Ah, it just looks kind of cool. And apparently at some point it's supposed to be de-blobbed. Oh man, I'm just like taking this guy. Okay, I'm de-blobbed. That was weird. It was cool, but it was weird. <laughs> okay, where are you going? Okay, somebody else said, oh, it's 1v1v1. Oh, 29. 29, 29, whited. Oh man, this guy's getting, oh, okay. Who's up there? Man, I'm low on shield. Um, it's a uh, Narada-like companion skin. Okay, DMR. Oh, why am I not hitting my shots? Okay, they're both at each other. I'm gonna take the high road and get this guy to 49, 29 wide. There you go. Oh, yes! The first win of the season! They did it, guys! With Gwen! Woo! I love her emote. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We got more on the way. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.